Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you the top 10 things you need to know and do before you start your YouTube channel. The first thing you need to do is I'm going to write it all down guys. So you need a pen and some paper so you can remember what to do. So what you need to do is you need a pen and paper. So guys, once you get your pen and paper, you can start getting your tips. And what you next secondly want to do is watch other YouTubers videos um, to find out what to do. So um, the third thing you want to do is you want to be either you want to find out what table youtuber you are really good at. I am kind of the type to do music and tutorials so if you want to you have to pick your type so your type of youtuber so uh, what type of youtuber are you what do you enjoy doing you can do a lifestyle type of one what is your favorite thing to do that is what i started off with i like to tell people how to do stuff and how to sing and like how to do very much stuff so i'm a tutorialer and in the next thing the fourth thing you want to do is you want to you want to kind of you want to pick a name pick an interesting name so pick your name pick a very interesting name my one is SipperTube phd 101 you have some most youtubers put like a number at the end of their name so Dan TDM was a very interesting name so that's what Dan Middleson did Stumpy um Stumpy Lawn Nose or Lawn Head whichever one you prefer um had did a very interesting name um the I believe Squishy Duck did a very interesting name and a lot of YouTubers who get an interesting name get a very um very good channel. Fifth, tell your friends about your channel. Tell a lot of your friends about your channel. So you need to think like what friend can I tell about my channel? You can go ahead and tell your friends about your channel and you can do it. you can tell them oh my channel is really good please go check it out and subscribe you can get your friends to subscribe because if your friends subscribe to your channel that means um you can have at least some subscribers and good friends to start out with my sixth one is see when you make your videos do not if you're recording with a phone, do not record this way. Record this way. Because if it's this way, it's going to have those black lines on the outside of the video. And if you record it this way, it's going to record nicely. So if you start off with a phone, I recommend starting off with a phone, guys. Because it's very, very good. So um, that one was camera. Then my seventh idea is guys if you are making your first video you can make don't start off saying hello my name is this my name is that and don't just give off your details guys make sure you never say where you live don't say like you can say what town you live in or city or village but as long as you don't say your address if you're under 18 because that is very bad for your um, considerance of happiness. I know you may think, oh my viewers are going to come to my door and want autographs. No, that's only for the big YouTubers. Um, if you're like a 12 year old or a 7 year old or an 8 year old YouTuber, do not give away your address or you will literally be something bad will happen I can tell you guys something bad might happen so never 
tell your address on YouTube unless you're big and you want like because that's how you get paparazzi that's how you get like a lot of people want to um like take photos of you and literally that's how you get badness when you're grown up you can do that if you want people coming to get your autograph but when you're only a wee kid this will just get you bad stuff happening to you and very bad stuff and you don't want to be one of those youtubers who get all the bad stuff pe bad people come to your door saying oh i'm a big fan but yeah but then something bad just happens guys it always happens and then my eighth one is what you want to do then is you want to find a place in your house which is very quiet i pick my bedroom or my parents bedroom like a couple of my videos were in my parents video bedroom but here i am in my bedroom pick a nice background just some people do green screens. I know most amazing top ten has the big, like um, most amazing top ten behind them. So pick a nice background. Some people do green screens, but that co just costs money. So you just do this type of background instead. You can you can even write on your walls if you believe you want to. You can even paint your walls if you want to to make it more great. So that one was background. My ninth one is guys when you're in your videos speak loud if you don't have a camera because if you don't have like a microphone you have to speak loud like very loud guys. Don't shout just don't shout guys but speak loud. Speak very very loud and that means you can speak more efficiently and um, people can actually hear you so loudness that was the one and the tenth one is the tenth one is my last one guys when you're a youtuber do not go like guys when you're a little youtuber and you're too afraid to do YouTube you may, you need to make sure you'll actually want to do YouTube so do you want to do YouTube you want it you, you don't just do YouTube if your friends doing YouTube you can ask your friend if you can be in one of their videos and then that might encourage it just go into someone else's YouTube video and be with them for a video so they can start you up and help you when they're a YouTuber. Do that guys. I haven't done that but guys, it's cause I really wanted to do YouTube very badly. But if you are not sure about YouTube, if you don't know the basics, um, just go to one of your friends, your very good friends, go to them, ask them like a question of you, be in one of our videos see how it feels like and if you don't want your friend to upload that video i'm sure they will not upload the video and they can do the video of someone else do not be shy on the videos because guys if you don't want to do it don't do it goodbye that was my top 10 tips on what you should know before you make a youtube channel goodbye